Okay, go ahead. What we got here? You can use a grapevine to control uh, an opponent's hips, but what you can also do is cross your feet under the hips. And it makes it real difficult to bridge. And it makes it real difficult for them to be able to move those hips. So from this sort of position where I come in from knee on belly with the, the overhook here, and I switch in, I tuck my feet in right behind his butt. Let's get it. See how they're tucked under? What they do is right under his buttocks, look at the knees or the uh, feet right under the buttocks, which arches him up. He's in a, not a very comfortable position. And as soon as he moves his hips in any direction, I just slip right under and cross my feet, okay? Well, let's look at that, see how he crosses the feet. Stay, stay, stay there, Eric. Wilson. And he crosses, okay, crosses feet. Okay, go ahead. I see how the feet are crossed under there, if you can see that. Those feet are crossed, if you haven't seen that. Okay, guys, very good. I basically just put my hips in, okay, like this. All that weight now is pushing his hips up and keeping them flat so he can buck all he wants. But I'm staying on top. You're riding him well. That's right. You have a, that's, that's, that's the epitome of osaikomi, yeah. pressing or control, immobilization. He has to hold my whole body up to, to get this to work. And I just wait until he comes back down and my, my ankles will be flat again. And while he's doing that, I'm usually working on these. Right, getting a submission. Clever, very good. And again, that's a, that's the ideal situation what Osei Komi is about. Right. Osei Komi means to control or to immobilize. That's what you're doing. Good point. All right, there we have it.